Hey y'all and welcome to Monner's Market and welcome to my Bloom with Grace Challenge. This month's theme is peonies and my co-host today is the beautiful Sarah over at Can Sarah DIY It. If you have not been to her channel yet, do yourself a favor and go check her out. She is beyond amazing and she picked peonies to be our Bloom of the Month. So for DIY number one, I am going to make this cute little riser that's 12 inches round with a couple of Dollar Tree signs and a Dollar Tree calendar. And if you see on the front of the calendar itself, that's actually the one I'm going to use, the peonies, because that's what we're using today. I mean, that's our theme today. So I just go in and I pull it out and it fits perfectly on top of my round. So I go in with the paper Mod Podge. Now, it really don't matter which Mod Podge you use. That just happened to be the one I had on hand. So that's the one I grabbed. And I just gave it a nice coat, but not like overly thick. And then I lay my picture upside down and just kind of like you see, just rubbing it. And then I set it to the side and let it dry just about. I don't want it to dry completely, but I'm trying to rub out the wrinkles. However, what you see me doing is adding some heat and a roller, and that literally the heat takes out all of the wrinkles. You can also use an iron and a hand towel to take out the wrinkles before it's dry or after it's dry. You can do it either way. And then I took my hand sander and just sanded down the edge. And then for the bottom one, I just flipped it inside out. And well, first I take my little tags off. And then I take these 20 millimeter beads and go around and glue them on. Now I wish I would have painted the inside of it first before I glued it together, but I wasn't thinking. I was kind of in a hurry and forgot to paint it. But I mean, it ended up working out in the end. And I went over it with the ballet slippers on the sides and on the bottom. And whenever I did this last year, I was really into distressing everything and I distressed it. And if I was doing it again fresh today, I would have left it just like this because it was so pretty and so bright and so beautiful. But that's not what I was doing whenever I made this last year. I used some vintage effects wash and distressed it. That's quote unquote, <laughs> distressed it down. Oh, I did take these little bean pots and made me some feet with it. Now you can get these little bean pots from Hobby Lobby or Amazon or anywhere. And if you click on the link in my description box to my Amazon store, you'll actually find some in there. So I just painted the little feet. I'm calling them feet. You call them a bean pot or whatever you want to call them. But I painted my little feet and got them ready to go on the bottom of my riser. And once I got them all painted up and they dried, I just glued them on with some hot glue and brought my right that there's actually these feet are what gives it the word riser because it rises it up off the table just a hair and that's me going in with what's left over on my paintbrush and no 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 I'm lying I didn't mean to lie though <laughs> I did dip it in the lid just a little bit to distress it down so once I got that done I decided that I wanted a little bit more something else so I went in with um the little half beads and put them around the top so that it would have sort of like a little ledge so that if I set some jewelry or something on there, it didn't roll off the side. See what I'm saying? Like it's just, just a little ledge. I mean, I don't know what else to call it. So I went around and glued them on. And when I did, originally I took my paintbrush and went over it with that vintage effects wash but it was so dark and just i don't know it was just too dark and i didn't like it so i just grabbed some waverly white chalk paint and went right back over the top of them again 
and brightened it back up. Now, I didn't go crazy and, you know, get every little teeny tiny piece of brown off. And it actually gave it more of a distressed look. And it was just too cute the way it turned out. But that's all there was to making this. I mean, it couldn't have been any easier than this. And I think it's just the cutest little riser. And like I said, it's 12 inches, so it's a good size. And it will hold a lot of my jewelry just to set it like on a dresser or something and throw some perfume bottles and earrings or whatever on top of it. So let me know what you think about that. So for DIY number two, I'm going to make a dream catcher. Now this dream catcher is my favorite of the whole video. I took this windmill or wind whatever it is from the Dollar Tree and deconstructed the whole entire thing because all I needed was the little wire ring. And then I took this doily from the Dollar Tree and threaded it onto the little ring with some yarn. And you see how the edge of the doily is scalloped? I just kind of went through every other scallop, if that makes sense. Now, I put a little piece of tape on the end of my yarn just to give it a little bit of, um, I don't even know what to call it, just to firm it up a little bit so it was easier to deal with because it was so soft, it was kind of hard to push through there. So you see how I'm skipping every other little scallop piece. And then I'm just wrapping it around that that wire one time until I get it all threaded on there. And that's all it was to make in the actual middle top part of it. Then I took this beautiful yarn. Dollar Tree has the absolutely most amazing yarn. And these colors are perfect for the peonies that I got from Amazon. Again, if you like these peonies, they are in my Amazon storefront. So go down to my description box and check it out and you'll find them. So I take this yarn and I stretch it out and it was like 18 inches long, cut it. And I did that. I don't know how many I did. Honestly, I didn't count. Probably maybe 15 of each, the pink, the white, or it's actually a cream color. And the green, no, 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 it was white. I'm sorry. The pink, the white, and the green. And once I got them cut and ready to make the strings for my dream catcher, I probably should have researched it a little bit better to find out what they're actually called. I'm going to call it a string because that's what it is to me. <laughs> so I just cut off my little strings. And then I take and I fold my piece of yarn in half and I run the top of it through, like you see me doing there, reach my fingers through it, grab the rest of the string, and just pull. And that's it. That's all it was to getting the string onto the wire. And that's just me trimming up that little piece that was left over from where I tied my doily onto it. So I just went with every other color. I did green, pink, white, green, pink, white, until... I was done, and this process is so beautiful, but so easy, like you could have, you know, a 10 or 12-year-old child helping you with it, and show them, you know, two or three times how to put it on there, and they could take off and do it themselves. That's how easy this is, and it is so incredibly beautiful when it's done. But once I got all of those on there, I decided to take some of these pearls that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Oh, you know what? I did um, use some pink ribbon. This is the real tiny, thin pink ribbon that you can get from Walmart for like 50 cent. And I just strung some beads randomly, some little pearls, just randomly, and hung them from the bottom of that little dream catcher just to give it something else for your eye to catch. And those beads, in my opinion, made the whole dream catcher. Like, to me, it was the most beautiful addition to the dream catcher. So let me know what you think about the addition of those pearls. But once I got that part finished, then I just took some leftover 
peonies that I had from another video that I done recently and made a little swag to go on my dream catcher and you know whenever I'm making my swags I love to use the zip ties to hold them all together because you literally only need one zip tie and you pull it tight enough that you don't have to worry about it flip-flopping around or coming apart or anything else and it's just a game changer whenever you use those zip ties to hold your greenery together so once I got that on and held together I did the same thing to actually put it on my dream catcher I got the flowers where I wanted them and then I took some a couple of the zip ties and just zip tied it to my little wire piece and once I done that I wanted to make a little hanger for my dream catcher so I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself but what I did is I took some of that same yarn and those pearls and just threaded some pearls onto a piece of the yarn and just hung it from the top of the dream catcher and that finished it off and it was so easy to do and in my opinion it is so beautiful and so high end and I love, love, love my dream catcher. I have had so many compliments on that. So this is me just going back in and adding the pearls to my little hanger and bringing the pearls full circle, you know, like having them at the top and the bottom, just adding that little touch. And that was it. That's all there was to it. And my little dream catcher was done. I cannot wait to hear what you think about it down in the comments below I'm tickled to death of the way it turned out and I just wonder if you are as excited about this as I am look how pretty that turned out I just love it and those peonies to me are beautiful again very high end very nice quality look at those little pearls on that yarn it's gorgeous and again I really truly think the pearls are what made it just that sweet little touch you know but let me know down in the comments what you think about this now let's get into my third and final DIY for DIY number three I'm gonna do a really quick and easy beginner DIY I'm trying to throw at least one beginner DIY into all of my videos now because I've had so many requests for easy beginner video uh, DIYs. So for the first bottle, I'm gonna use the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Ballet Slippers. Now these bottles came in a set of three from Target Dollar Spot for $3, and I had already used one. So I'm gonna take the two that I have left and just simply paint them. Like I said, I'm gonna paint this one in the Ballet Slippers and then I'm going to paint the other one in the color Moss. Both of these are Waverly chalk paints. And once I get them painted, I'm going to take a piece of that yarn from each of the three colors that I used in my Dreamcatcher. And I'm simply going to tie it around the top just to give it a little bit of cuteness and sweetness. And that, my friends, is it. Just a little facelift to show you how easy it is to change up a little vase by throwing a paint a coat on a paint a coat on there a coat of paint <laughs> oh my heavens anyway once i got it painted and they dried and i got my little yarn tied around it or i may have put the flowers in first i added these peonies i'm telling you i cannot get enough of these peonies they are absolutely stunning in my opinion and they like i said will be listed in my amazon storefront down in my description box so let me know what you think about this sweet little addition to the video like, like i said super easy super quick something that anybody can do and look at those peonies they are just so pretty I, I just can't get enough of them anyway I'm rambling 
I am so excited that you came to see me again today, two days in a row. I know that's a lot, but it just happened to be the way it fell on my calendar this month. But I also want to thank the gorgeous Sarah over at Can Sarah DIY It again for being my co-host. And I so, I'm telling you, I encourage you to go watch her channel. She is amazing. If you haven't seen her yet, do yourself a favor and go check her out. Like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff that helps our channels thrive. But let me know what you think about this third and final DIY down in the comments below. I think it's just the sweetest little pieces. Look how cute. And those little vases, to me, were bumped up times 10 when I put those gorgeous peonies in it. But thank you again, Sarah, for being my co-host. Thank you all for always supporting me. If you are new to my channel, my name is Brenda, but my sweet grandbabies call me Moner, and this is Moner's Market. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.